Hey, it's Joe Glines from Automator. And in this video, we've taken an extraction from our intermediate auto hockey course where Isaiah is talking through how with most programs we create, and basically all programs out there for the most part, you're often saving some sort of data in one way or another. And so he talks through like one of the great ways is using any files. And we talk through in any file how you can have key and value stuff. Uh, but also sometimes our databases sometimes use JSON um, or XML. But this is just a short extraction from the intermediate auto hockey course which is a really solid course. If you're new to programming, you might start with the intro course. If not, jump into the intermediate auto hockey course. All of our courses come with a 200% money back guarantee. Most of the videos are three to five minutes long. This one, I think is like two and a half. It's very short and concise to the point. Gives you a clear plan on how to learn auto hockey and what you should learn. So check it out. If you're interested, please like this video if you enjoyed and you learned something because it really helps us out. Cheers. The next thing that we want to learn about, um, if you want to go a little bit deeper into auto hotkey programming or programming in general is that most programs or i would say all programs handle data one way or another okay so you have variables you have numbers you have information that the user gave you and so on so at some point you will find yourself needing to save that data somewhere um, usually in the form of a database so to speak and the first thing that you might attempt to do is just go ahead and save the information into a file. For example, your program settings, you have preferences. You let the user set some preferences. Well, if you close the program, all your variables are gone. What are you going to do next time the program starts? So you have to save the settings somewhere. And then when the program restarts, then you have to read those settings and then go ahead and do whatever you want with whatever preferences the user had. So you will find in yourself very quickly in programming, needing to save data somewhere, store it, and then retrieve it back and work with it. So AutoHotKey has a built-in functionality for dealing with a, a very specific type of files, the ini files. So ini files are very interesting because they're simple text files that anybody can read and they are just simply key value pairs in which you have an option in one side and you have the value for that option on the other side. Like for example, uh, start at Windows startup, that's the option. And what is set to true or to false? So that's a key value pair. And a lot of times for simple programs, you right away want to save stuff like that about your program. So saving the state of a program into a file. But reading a file and parsing the file gets really complicated over time. That's why we have some any read, any write, and any delete commands, which allows us to quickly get values out of an any file without you having to do the work. That's what I'm going to be showing you in the next video.